and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Hello everyone and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today I'm going to show you how to make an awesome Play-Doh giraffe. Doesn't he look fun? I can't wait to show you. So, for this you are going to need yellow Play-Doh, black Play-Doh, brown Play-Doh, white Play-Doh. You're also going to need a rolling pin, wooden skewers, a pen and a Play-Doh craft tool. So first off, we want to take our yellow Play-Doh. We're making the bulk of our giraffe with this, so shape it like a foot, just like I'm doing. Make sure you smooth down any rough edges. We want to make the neck nice and long. So stretch it out. Perfect. This is what it should look like. It looks kind of like a swan. So once you're done, set that aside. Now we're going to take our brown Play-Doh. Roll it flat using your rolling pin. Take a bit of brown and stick it onto your yellow giraffe. Remember, the splodges on a giraffe are always uneven, so you don't want the edges to be too perfect. It's better if all the different splodges are different sizes. Now we're going to take a wooden skewer. Break it in half and thread it through the neck. This is going to give the neck extra strength. Set that aside and now let's make the head of the giraffe. Shape it just like this. Make sure you smooth down any edges. I'm using my craft tool to help. Now I'm using my pen. This is going to help me put nostrils and a smile onto the front of my giraffe. I'm making the smile bigger using my knife. Of course though, we need some eyes, so take some white Play-Doh and roll it into two dots, stick them on the front, and add black pupils. Super cute! Now I'm taking some brown Play-Doh. I'm rolling it into a spaghetti shape, and then into a V. Stick this on the back of the head. Perfect. Now we need to take some more yellow to make the ears. Doesn't he look cute? Now it's time to stick him on top of our body. Set that aside and take some black Play-Doh. Roll it out flat. We want to cut a nice thin strip. I'm doing a concertina fold here to give a great effect. And this is now going to become the back of the neck of the giraffe. It's the giraffe's mane. I'm adding a little bit more hair on top of my giraffe's head. Now it's time to make our giraffe legs. So get some yellow Play-Doh. Roll some black Play-Doh flat and use it as a trim. The black is going to be the hooves of our giraffe. We want four legs.
Once you've made four, take some more of your skewer. This gives the legs strength and also helps attach the legs to the body. Looking good. Our giraffe is really starting to take shape. Great! Adjust the legs so that your giraffe is standing up straight or sitting down like in the picture. And there you have it. That's how you make a Play-Doh giraffe. Hello everyone and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today I am going to show you how to make some really awesome Play-Doh peacocks. Don't these look cool? So bright and colourful and super pretty. So for this you're going to need Play-Doh in blue, green, black, turquoise, purple, pink, orange, yellow, white and you're also going to need a rolling pin and a Play-Doh knife. So let's get started. First of all, let's take our turquoise Play-Doh. I'm going to break off a section and mold it in my hands. I'm rolling it into a round shape and then I'm going to press it flat. It's kind of like a cookie. I'm using my rolling pin to make it a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to start to shape it a bit more. Perfect. Set that aside and now take some yellow Play-Doh. I want to make a dot. Now take some blue Play-Doh, make another dot and put it on top of your yellow dot. Now repeat the process with orange. I'm now putting all of that onto a bigger blue dot. This is how we decorate and create a peacock feather. It's such a distinctive pattern. So you want to make sure you keep experimenting and get the right colours. Perfect. This is starting to look great. Keep going. Now it's time for orange. Now I'm repeating the process on the next row, but with yellow. And the next row with orange. And then more yellow at the bottom. Finally, I'm finishing off with orange. And now I'm taking my rolling pin and rolling the pattern into the turquoise base. Once that's done, set that aside and take some more blue Play-Doh. We're going to make the body of our peacock now. So roll it into a teardrop shape, like so. And then bend the neck over, just like I'm doing. And once you're happy with the shape of the body, we're going to use our Play-Doh knife to create a pattern this is going to look like feathers. It's just a zigzag. So do the zigzag from the bottom up to the neck. Perfect. Now let's sit our peacock's body on top of his amazing feathers. It's looking great. We have to make his head now. So grab some blue Play-Doh and add two white dots for eyes. Take a tiny bit of black to create the pupil. Of course, we need a beak. So make an orange triangle and stick it on. Now we want some more feather detail for behind the head. So make a round blue shape and add three spots of orange at the top. 
Stick that behind the peacock's head, like this. And now let's sit our peacock on his feathers. Because it's time to make some feet. We're going to do this out of orange Play-Doh. Start by making a V-shape. And then using your Play-Doh knife, cut the webs into the orange. And there you have it. It's assembled. Isn't he great? So that's one peacock done. Let's make the other one. We're going to do exactly the same process, but we're going to use purple as a base instead. Once you're happy with your purple circular base, it's time to decorate. I'm using yellow to start off with. It really pops against the purple. Remember, it's exactly the same process. I'm following yellow with a turquoise blue. Then some pink. Now I'm doing the next row. It's orange with some green dots. Don't they look amazing? Now I'm using blue as a base. How fantastic. This looks so incredible. Remember, you can use whatever different colors you like. Why don't you experiment? I'm even putting some pink on the purple. This gives it a little bit of extra pizzazz. I'm so happy with how this looks. Once you're finished, roll it flat. This blends all the colors together and makes it look like real peacock feathers. Now we've done the main part of the feathers, it's time to make the body. And I'm doing this peacock out of a turquoise blue. It's the same shape, so once you're happy, set it aside. I'm adding my beak straight to this peacock, it doesn't have a separate head. It's going to give it a slightly different profile. I'm also using a different color Play-Doh for the feathers behind the peacock's head. I'm using bright green instead of the turquoise. Again, this is just to make it pop. You can get creative. Now's the time to do it. Don't forget to add some eyes so your peacock can see. Now let's make some feet for our peacock. Otherwise he won't be able to stand. Once the body's done, let's add it to the feathers. There you have it. Slightly different, but equally as pretty. Perfect Play-Doh peacocks. Aren't they cool? So thank you very much for watching Hoopla Kids How To everyone. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you check out all of our other videos. And don't forget to come back and visit us again soon. We'll see you next time. Bye. Welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today we are going to be making the cutest Play-Doh frog. How sweet is he? So for this, all you're going to need is white Play-Doh, light green Play-Doh, black Play-Doh, and dark green Play-Doh. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is to make the body using the light green Play-Doh. Roll it into a ball. We're then going to make the feet using the dark green Play-Doh, like so. Sit the body on top of the feet. Now we're going to roll two smaller balls. Flatten them out slightly and they become the eyes. I'm 
and of course a giant smile. Using white play-doh and black play-doh we're going to make the eyes. And there you have it, that's it! How cute is he? So thank you very much for watching Hoopla Kids How To everyone. If you have enjoyed this video, please do let us know in the comment box below because we love hearing from you. Why don't you pop us a picture of your Play-Doh frog? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel above and we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!